I tell you what, I've, I've tried on suits before when I haven't had a fresh haircut. Oh, you just don't, you, you can't picture it. I mean, you feel shit. You, you do feel it, shit, like, and then you're like, no, well, this will, I think this will look better. You want to know how you're going to feel. Yeah, it makes such a difference, like having that go for it. Yeah. How are we going to do it at the moment? Uh, just, just wanted to get the sides all sharpened up. I think the length on tops. I wouldn't want to take any off. It's, no, no, no. It's we took it, we took it down a little bit last time. We took it down quite a bit last time. It's spot on right now. Okay. Um, yeah, just sharpen the sides up. Okay. Got into Glasgow actually on Saturday to get my uh, to check out a place for a suit for the wedding. Okay. So I kind of want to go up feeling all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sharp. I tell you what, I, I've tried on suits before when I haven't had a fresh haircut. Oh, you just and you, you can't picture it. And you feel shit. You, you do feel it like, shit, and then you're like, no, well, this will, I think this will look better. You want to know how you're going to feel. Yeah, it makes such a difference, like having that cut forward. There was actually, I, I, it was a couple of years ago, a mate of mine, uh, it was their wedding, and for some reason, like the invite hadn't come, hadn't come through to me. So I just thought, oh, fuck, well, I just haven't been invited. I got a call on that day saying, like, where are you? Why, like, you got a table place, like, why, why are you not here? And I was like, oh. <laughs> Hang on, the haircut. So I was like, well, it was too late to get a haircut. I was like, well, I can't go now. Yeah, so I, I, had to do, I can't go. I'm doing exactly the same. Because we're now playing around that, like, so ideally, so Chelsea's thinking she wants to go out to the wedding, wait like a couple of weeks before the wedding, and everyone else meets us out there. And I'm like, well, I want to come as close as I can to get my hair cut. So, so now it's like, holy oh, shit, what do I do? Do I get my hair cut? Go out and find somewhere in Cape Town just to get the sides done, but then what if you fuck it up? You're gonna have to get that done, aren't you? Because like you, if, if you're going out that early. So we go in skin today again. Okay. Yeah, normal. Perfect. So where have you been today? It's just, just at, at working. Home. Yeah, just working. I've got my mum staying for a few days. No, she's there at the moment. She's outside for watching the car. Just <laughs> <laughs> <She's> jumping in. <laughs> So new class, we went to yeah, on Sunday. Well, we went to one on Sunday yeah. down by Oldgate, where there's Sunday morning quarter past nine class. It's called uh, Victus Victus Soul. Really recommend it. Really great. What's that? It was. Uh, what stuff is that? It was. Well, they do two different. Well, they do. They've got two different types of studios. So there's either one where it's treadmill and then. So it's, it's a very similar to Barry type treadmill and then like you're doing you're on the box or whatever it's called. The, the muscle the stepper thing. Stepper thing and, yeah. And then the other one they've got that is opposed to treadmills, it's uh, boxing. We did we just oh, did the treadmill. That sounds pretty cool. And it's um yes yeah, so you're doing doing that. And the studio is really cool because what they've got in there is each of those steppers has all the equipment with it. So it comes like it's got the dumbbells in it either side. It's got kettlebells on it. Yeah it's a unit. Yes, unit of it. And it was uh, girl doing it, she was really good. The lights, the lights were really good actually. They had, as opposed to- Victor Soul. It's not called Invictus, it's called Victor. Victor yeah. Soul. Soul, yes. It's really quite close to Olgate Station. That's where we go to like, that's by where the, uh, the classes is we go to and that. We to copyright on this. Where, what, sorry? There's like where we go to um, General Assembly, it is. Ah, uh, right. Okay, General yeah, Assembly yeah. is just all the free courses and some paid courses. Oh, is, oh right, is that where it is? Right, so right. They do it at General Assembly. So General Assembly, that's where it is, yeah, that's what the courses are. Some of them are, some of them are free, some of them are not. Okay. That yeah, so all sounds good. I like the sound of a boxing one. Yeah, it, look, it looks really cool, actually. Really and cool. The, the changing rooms, really good. Like, they were just. It, really, it feels really luxurious when you're in there. It's just done very well. Yeah, sounds cool. The, uh, I, would, I would actually say it was potentially better than Barry's. Really? It was a real nice, nice. Place. Like the whole, the whole setup. It felt very. Well, that's the thing with Barry's. There's definitely things on the top. I've been to a few things where you like elements of one thing you would prefer to Barry's and prefer to each other. So yeah. I think it's quite nice to be able to mix it up. I thought that pass is so good. Yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've really liked it. The thing with this, uh, the thing with this, why I think why I really liked it, because I think I've always loved, say, like the inside of All Saints, the, like with all like the sewing machines, yeah, having all sort of like rustic. I love that, and it's and then it also like the Lilavo. I love the way that is, and that with this place, the Victor Soul, it's all very much set up similar to that. But also then inside it's all very modern as well with it. So it's, just, it's actually really nice place, we really enjoyed it. It's got quite a nice sort of 
coffee space at the start as well. Good. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. I'll check it out. Yeah, it's well, awesome. I think that's then you, you then start feeling up really comfortable in your own skin and, and knowing your own journey, isn't it? Yeah. I think obviously you always struggle with someone that sort of very confident knows themselves but it's it's then when you it comes very concrete and you know you're you working towards it. yeah and like I feel like for me I've in the last couple of years I've become my own person where before that I wasn't I mean it's, you do notice a big change in yourself when that does happen don't you? You really yeah you really do. You really do. You start you're not hiding from things any well you're not hiding from things you're not you just clear you've got more clarity over what it is you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it. And then when you, I think when you know that, and when you know that, and it's absolutely exactly what you want to be doing, it's, it's easier to become a lot more clear and regimented with your journey to get there. Do you know what I mean? Like I probably thought I wanted particular things. When I worked for Amazon, I thought I wanted a particular, and I thought a particular goal was a particular goal. But now in hindsight, I realised it wasn't. It was just the best goal possible when in that environment. Yeah, it's what you're in, isn't it? Yeah, like, therefore, you, therefore your behaviour still isn't exactly as like optimal as it would be. So. Yeah, 100% because you're just in that little ecosystem of it, aren't you? You're not in that short loop world, you're in Amazon world, aren't you? You know, they're not trying to get you to think more about you and what you want to achieve. It's all about what you're going to achieve within that set thing. <laughs> Stan Lee did write his first Marvel comic. He did. He wrote his first comic book of Fantastic Four. Was his first one he wrote. I think he's had his forties or his fifties. Is that right? He didn't write a single comic book until then. And look at what happened. You know what I hear about that? Read that just the other day. Amazing, that, isn't it? That is incredible. But like, that's the thing. Like it's, it's very much not. Colonel done. Sanders was in his sixties, I think, wasn't he? You read the story, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Fucking amazing. You've got to read the story of Colonel Sanders. It's something like it's completely utter down and out. Completely utter down and out. Wife had left him, miserable, got into like his 60s, and then he just thought, oh, yeah. like he's he's fried chicken. Own, he used to make his own fried chicken, he just started going around people's houses and selling it, and then one thing went to another. Is that really? Oh shit. Never too late. And that's, that's the thing, like, there's nothing something like I, I, I fully believe that. Like, it's, it's just whether you want to do it or not, isn't it? Shuts off after not, 20 minutes. Not, not every single one does, but it seems like 90% of them shut off. So up. annoying, isn't it? I've been out times where I've been going and just about to go to the sprint and it just shuts off. You completely off. forget, even yeah. though you've, it's happened too many times, you forget because you get 20 minutes in and you're just like, you're in a, a place yeah. in your head and boom, you're off. It's like, so good, it just gets you so out of rhythm, doesn't it? Oh, fucking very annoying. Yeah, the place this morning actually, we did it at the Digging Your Dime, I guess. That was, uh, it's a bit of a weird one, they've got, they've got, but they don't have like unisex changing rooms, uh, they have unisex changing rooms. So it's like, you have, you have individual shower cubicles, yeah. where you go in, so you get showered and you get sort of like changed to a group, they get fucking boiling there, so everyone just comes out into like the corridor and changes all the stuff in the corridor. So it's quite weird, and then like everyone, like you get girls that are just sat there in like their pants and bra, and you're like just walking like past them. So it's, I always get like paranoid of like somebody thinking you're perfect. Yeah, exactly, the massively. So and it's then there's like you have so you have that unisex um, sort of like hair dryer room, and all the girls are like just there like with the towels around them and like drying their hair. I just get super paranoid. So I just, I just like yesterday, uh, this morning, and then last time I was in there, I just go and just like dry my hair with my eyes closed. I just get so paranoid. They think, well, they, they, they uh, yeah, like potentially get accused of like perfect. Spot on, mate. Spot on, feel lovely.
Yeah.